on Funniest Pets and People. This owner takes a ride on a doggy go round. A polar bear makes a real splash. A guy who's bugging out. A kid and his cow share a balanced diet. And the Thanksgiving goes up in smoke. So get comfortable, because this show is going to be a big hit. It's the show that will have you sit, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. It doesn't take a full moon to get some animals acting crazy. The question isn't whether the frog can get to the top of the weather vane. The question is how did he get on top of the barn? Yeah, we're all asking the same question. How do you find out a cow will do this trick in the first place? Now, this may seem impressive, but he doesn't realize he's using a soup spoon for the main course. Wow, I don't know if these glasses are the right prescription. Because if she could see properly, she'd realize that she has a snake on her face. On the one hand, this guy can do an amazing trick, putting scorpions on his face. <laughs> on the other hand, no one's responding to his online dating photo. <laughs> now, here's a dog who strangely spins every time a car goes by. Every time. Check it out. See that? Animal experts aren't certain, but they strongly believe this is a dog's way of telling his owner, I'm nuts! <laughs> this one-foot barking technique may seem a little tame and cutesy, but it sends a clear message to anyone thinking of robbing his home. Do it. Now, this is pretty strange. A dog catching tennis balls in the dryer. He's doing a pretty good job, too. But the ironic thing is, they'll have to dry them again. Because now they're covered in dog spit. Please don't try and get in my house, Mr. Doggy. Please? Pretty please? With a cherry on top? Please? Woody, please, with a... Okay, I said get away and I mean business! Ah, go, go! You will not be tested on the following because it is <laughs> just for fun. That's right, you heard me. That chest thump was meant for you, big guy. Keep walking. Okay, now, let's not get crabby. Mommy! That's right, sucker. Keep moving. This little boy and his puppy are fighting like crazy over who gets that big blankie. <laughs> but can you blame him? <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want a dirty rag covered in baby drool, dog spit, and fleas? You go get your M O N K E Y. <laughs> you can Bring that M O N K E Y. Yay! Go get your B-U-N-N-Y. Talk about a fun trick. Bring that bunny over here. Yay, bunny! This woman has taught her dog to spell. Go get your C-O-W. C-O-W. Where is it? Bring yeah, it's neat. All right. But it makes it tough when it's time to take him to the V-E-T. Let's go. Double time. Over that wall. Move it. Move it. You 
worthless little runt? Come on, are you gonna wet yourself, you pathetic excuse for a puppy? You'll never make Retriever Soldier. I've seen better climbing from a newborn kitten. Congratulations, but don't get cocky. You're still not housebroken. Uh, 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 I ate too much. Uh, uh, uh. Ladies and gentlemen, the Harlem Dog Trotter. This dog likes to have fun so much that he'll do just about anything to get his paws on his favorite dog toy. You'd think after all that he'd be tired. Tired. Get it? Because <laughs> he, he went into the tires and... All right, good night, everybody. I'm here all week. Uh, excuse me, but can somebody tell me where this amazing fountain is? Because I've been looking for it all day, and I haven't... Uh, whoa, hello! Oh, <laughs> this may seem like harmless fun. But that parakeet ate two cotton candies, a hot dog, and a caramel apple before getting on this ride, so... <laughs> stand back! <laughs> Little League tip number five. Drop <laughs> Always had the ambulance number programmed into the speed dial of your home phone. Coming up, a butterball goes ballistic. And some more biting comedy. When we return to funniest pets and people. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the pet store. It'll take old Rusty hours to rip apart this sneaker he hates so much. Wait till he finds out they travel in pairs. Part of this clip <laughs> that a guy is doing housework. <laughs> hey, that dog is actually attacking that shadow puppet. <laughs> actually, thinks that shadow puppet is scary. Actually, it is kind of kind of scary. Can, can we see the next clip? Innocent sweet puppies. Gentle as rain. That is, unless your hair smells like bacon. You think you're safe and sound. But then you come in to find shaving cream everywhere, toilet paper on the chandeliers and burning poop on the porch. Tonight, on our exclusive report, When Animals Prank. Look at this bird attacking. It's not that he sees himself. It's that they took his spot. Yeah, this may not work out. Because you know what this girl is spending hours cleaning? Paw prints. Thanksgiving, the revenge. In the barnyard. No one can hear you gobble. <laughs> Try
Translation? Oh, no, 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 no. No, you are not getting my pork chop. No matter how old or moldy or covered in lint, it's mine. Mine, I tell you. Mine! <laughs> Little Noodle's attempt to escape the Anderson's backyard failed miserably when the dog realized just how much he really hated balloons. What is two times four? <laughs> yeah, it's it like. What is three times four minus seven? I'm thinking of a number. What is it? <laughs> what is three times what or three times four divided by three? No cookies, no ice cream, no girls, no nothing. These animals are in training. Here's a racehorse in training they call Flipper. Why Flipper? Well, it's a funny story. You see... Well, you get the idea. Here's a dog that'll let this parrot ride him all over the house. <laughs> I didn't see something like this ever. And why? Well, because Poochie and Crackers are the bestest pals in the world. <laughs> but mostly because the dog can't reach him. <laughs> now, here's a guy who's actually managed to train his bunny rabbit to play soccer. Yeah. <laughs> which just proves that this is one man who has patience, determination, and no job. <laughs> round and round he goes. And where he throws up, nobody knows. say anything. He thinks it's a world's record. This was an exciting day for Mittens. But a very scary one for teeny little school children. After all those years of taking him for a walk, this pug decided it was time to take his owner for a spin. seconds flat and we're out. Beat that, David Blaine! <laughs> this little girl has been in training for over three weeks to jump this ball. Oh. <laughs> Looks like she needs a little more training. Coming up, a recipe for disaster. And a demented, dizzy dog. <laughs> we return to the funniest pets and people. Welcome back to funniest pets and people. Get yourself something from the fridge and sit down. It's chow time.
Here's a dog with a nose for fine dining. <laughs> you know why the dog opens the fridge and steals pizza when his owner isn't around? Because he can. You ever wonder how they get those apples at the supermarket so shiny? That's right. Dog spit. You know the best thing about eating corn on the cob? Well, here's the worst. Think it's weird how these two eat pretzels? Should have seen how they drank a saucer of milk. Hmm, where did I leave those nuts? In here? Hmm, no. Wait, maybe it was in the pool cabana. I'm not sure the rules. But I think the tooth fairy might consider this cheating. This video makes us go, ooh. But it also makes us go, ooh. He's got the snap, and he splits right. Got a clear field, and he's on the 20, the 30. Oh, they boxed him in. <laughs> but he breaks free, and he's going for it. 30, 40. Oh, they've got him again, but he's doubling back. Now he's breaking for it, and I don't know where the heck he's going, but it doesn't matter because... He just ate the ball. <laughs> what can possibly go wrong with a man in his shorts and loafers dropping a 30-pound turkey in a smoking hot deep fryer without tongs? <laughs> if you guessed everything, you're today's big winner. Ready to have a ball? So are these guys. <laughs> This dog is suffering from the delusion that he's actually a basketball star. <laughs> Which is kind of amazing because right at this moment, a basketball star is chasing the mailman. Here's an interesting science fact. If a dog's brain were even 2% as big as that ball, it wouldn't be doing this. There we go. Whoops, a little help, uh, there we go. Whoop, little help. Horse Hacky Sack, catch all 15 episodes. Please. Don't know if this is bad aim for baseball or good aim for an angry little sister. We're not sure of the Pee Wee League rules. <laughs> but that's gotta be good for a free throw and a scoop of Rocky Road ice cream. <laughs> you tried telling him there's no jumping in the pool. <laughs> yeah, it's a real cute trick to teach your dog to knock the balls in the holes. That is, until three weeks later, when you can't find your car keys, or your wallet, or the cat. <laughs> the 
someone has figured out a way to serve up a little payback over not getting a hamburger. Now this looks like a pretty casual game of tetherball. Until you realize bookies have almost three million bucks laid down on the retriever to beat the spread. Coming up, a small fry fights a tough guy in the pigsty. When we return, the funniest pets and people. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Boy, neither of these piglets is willing to give up that stick of gum. See you next time.